It's the second day in Tehran. Hey guys, um, we are really tired. Or oh, um, Umar, I'm, I'm not so tired right now. Bullshit. Umar is he's bullshit. <laughs> we got our flight uh, booked. Yes, that's so what we spend most of the day on. Oh. Yeah, and that's why we couldn't. <laughs> we have. <laughs> so yeah, not we haven't done much today in Tehran. But let me uh, relate the tale of the booking office. Okay. So um, the flight from Sahadan has basically screwed up and it's really kind of impossible to I get. I got an email saying that it's confirmed. <laughs> yes, we got an email saying it's confirmed, but the trouble is that... Collecting it. Collecting it. But no, the email said that you didn't send you an e-ticket for that. I was like, fuck it. What? Yeah, there was an email today which said that if you send the passport, we can issue you an e-ticket. But that was after okay. we booked the ticket. See, so okay. things are very screwed up. But anyway, we basically were told that if we couldn't go to Sadan or Mashhad, to yeah. pick up our ticket uh, it within a canceled. day, it would be cancelled. Yeah. So we said, well, we can't do that. Mm. And we went to find a different flight. Yeah. Uh, that was yesterday evening. And now we have found a different flight with it's Emirates. Uh, Emirates. It's booked. Yesterday evening we booked it. But we and couldn't pay for it, so no. we had to go to the oh office again. So we found out, okay, to buy, basically to buy a, a, a ticket from Iran to anywhere, anywhere else. else outside of Iran you have to, go to either book it in advance as a return or you have to go to the to the uh, airplanes office. yeah the airlines booking office mm -hmm. and do it uh, so that's what we had to do um so emirates yeah. has one in Tehran, luckily which pa doesn't yeah and we got our ticket but not without trouble <laughs> yeah like i was safe today but this this guy it's my turn to have trouble with my passport um basically because uh, yeah, I have a visa to Pakistan. They wouldn't sell me the ticket Unless before I could prove it. that I had a, a ticket out of Pakistan again, because it was one way too, and I have you know with a PIA outside out of Pakistan. Um, so uh, while he uh, went to meet up with a couch surfer, which didn't work, didn't out, work out because <laughs> I went there and we've been texting, and then she said, uh, "Yeah, meet me somewhere." Yeah, and she yeah, sent me yeah. the address. Uh, saying that you, you <laughs> come and meet me, and then I went there, and then it was a s address of a of a street, so it didn't have a proper address. But one thing, you know, because of I'm really good office, at comprehension, yeah. <laughs> you know, what I mean, I got an A in everything, because I'm a really intelligent guy. One of the texts said that she's going to be at her sister's office. So when I got to the street, you went know, I did, yeah, I went to an office, and then I buzzed in, and I didn't, I just, I was like not sure what to say, so I just said. I'm here to see Mario, and then after 30 seconds the door opened, <laughs> and then I went in, the right and office. then the, it was the right office, of course, because I'm a genius, <laughs> and then uh, this girl comes out and she says, oh, I thought you were not coming, and then we have been texting for so long, and then I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, so that's a bit weird. At the meantime, while he was doing that, I was uh, taking a cab back mm -hmm. to the uh, flat, the apartment, the cabs are really cheap, so it's okay, yeah. um, and then uh, picking up the my um, my you know, my stuff, so to prove that I have the PIA flight, uh, uh, had to print uh, some reservation things, and then once I've done that, went back to the booking office. Got it booked. Got it booked, got it paid. Umar was back at the booking office because but, obviously But it was to too go. late, it was 3 o'clock when we got it done. And we yeah, I got it done, and then we were done at around 3 o'clock, and then we wanted to go out and see some stuff, but yeah, it was closed. too late. Everything was closed. We wanted to First, we looked in the guidebook, which said that you know different things closed. But then <laughs> we, saw, we saw that the National Museum, oh, that was open to 5 uh, 545. Cool, yeah. we can make that. So we went to go there. And Come there like five minutes past four? No, 4 30. Right? 4 30. And it was uh, at four. Yeah, and a guard says he says no, 4. Yeah. So the guidebook is not accurate at all. Accurate. We have had, I think, with problems with Tabriz, the map. With Tabriz, it was good. good. With uh, Tehran, not good. Not good, needs an update. Yeah. <laughs> I think like with the map it needs an update because remember she, she when we were traveling yesterday the map said like 800 meters and then we had to walk so much didn't we? Uh, yeah yeah it's just like the, the, the distance the is scale a little is screwed really up. It's, yeah it's kind of weird because sometimes the distances are a little bit shorter sometimes they're, they're longer and it's as if the scale is a little bit screwed up on the map. Anyway uh, so yeah we went there but yeah, we still but managed to do but, a little bit. But Rasmus yes. got uh, the special well, well, VIP. We had one, one, one thing first though. We, we then one. went to the bazaar when we walked around. Uh, we, but it was the, important uh, right? we got to the Imam Khomeini Mosque which was kind of nice. The, the, uh, the, the, the place there was. Yeah, it was and good. then we decided to go back here and then the special treatment. 
the special, you know, like I've been getting the special treatment everywhere I go, but this time in it Istanbul, was, you know, yeah, time at the police, those yeah, kind of things. Yeah. Special treatment was, for the Pakistan guy. It was guy. for Rasmus. So but Rasmus, can, can you please guy. tell your tales? I'll tell my tale. Well, we are on our way down to the metro at the Imam Khomeini station uh, to go to uh, back to the flat, and um, suddenly someone taps me on the shoulder, and I was like, no. At first, I just kept walking. I thought somebody, somebody taps me again. Yeah, I turn around, and there's this guy standing there, and I was like. Yes, and he says, police, police, and shows me a, a police card. sign, card thing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, uh, what, uh, yeah, and he wants my passport, and, come, and I was like, oh. So I called Umar, because he was just about to use his ticket to get into get the, it. the thing. Yeah. And he came back, and the police took me over, and then, you know, wanted me to see me, his, me, my passport. And they so were like, thinking, at that time, they were thinking yeah, it was that time we were Iranian. Thinking, yeah, we, yeah, we were also thinking that it was a sham, because... Yes. Um, We've been warned about the book once about a sham where people come up as fake policemen and want to see your passport. Once you give them the passport, mm -hmm. they run away and take it. Yeah. So we, and they, what they advise in the book, which we always will give you, and say, okay, go to the police station. Yeah. Don't give your passport before you're at the police yeah. station, so you know it's true. Yeah. So we, so, you know, say police station, police station, and then suddenly, you know, I mean, well, there's this one guy at the beginning, but suddenly there was five guys around yeah. there. So that's also we find okay, sham shit for this, but it was anyway. So uh, we did say, okay, police station. We walked up to the police station, which was really close anyway, so that was yeah, fine. Two, like, yeah, it was, it was like 100 basically. meters, just up the yeah. stairs. Yeah. Yes. And we got in there, and then, you know, I said, sorry for not trusting you, but, you know, Shaman, he said, yeah. okay, okay. Did and then we sat there, and, but, I mean, basically, just wanted to see a passport, see that we had visas, visa, basically. basically. Yeah. Um, looked at our passport, looked at our university card. I mean, right. check yeah, my wallet. Yeah, 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 check your wallet, not mine. So you got a little bit of special treatment as well. No, but the, it was because... Uh, I p took out the university card for my wallet, yeah, and yeah. I still had it in my hand. I yeah. don't know, they were just interested in how much money I have or something. But they checked my wallet. <laughs> they took his uh, snapbacks. Snap 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 if you know that from, from Edinburgh, yeah. some of you might know it. Snapbacks is a little sort of discount card you have in Edinburgh to different things. So and he like looked for <laughs> everything, and I was like, hmm, what is this? So, yeah, and then just gave um, it back. Yeah, in the end he said, give it back, and they said, you know, thank you and goodbye, and we could leave yeah. that. So. Yeah, yeah, and then we got back to the flat. And had food. And had food. And yeah. then, uh, we I were was trying so to thirsty when we got back, like we had to buy something. But, uh, yeah, I, I drank that uh, lemon beer so much. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's alcohol free beer they have here. Uh, it's just which nice. taste, doesn't really taste like beer, it tastes like uh, lemon. Yeah, it it's tastes different like cider, flavor, kind yeah, of, actually. Yeah. It has different flavors. Like uh, Swedish cider, not the, the British kind. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all for it for today. We leaving we're planning for to go tomorrow. to a different. Yeah, leaving for Shiraz tomorrow. Tomorrow we will do uh, an early Golestan Palace. National Jewelry Museum, whatever else we can manage to get in there before we have to go to the Yeah. Take a night bus. But will you be updated about that on the bus probably? So uh, maybe. Special treatment for you guys. So, so quote of the day is, well, Umar just said okay. it. Okay. The quote, no, the quote of the day oh, is, the day. we are in Iran. And there's an old Urdu saying, which is from Iranian, uh, Farsi, which says, Sharab, Shabab, Kabab. Ah, yes. Sharab means alcohol. Shabab means women. And kebab means woman. So this is the recipe of life. Yeah. Sharab, shabab, kebab. So Not sex, drug and, drugs, and rock and roll. Shabab. Alcohol, women, and food. Yes. There we go. Okay. So, all Wise right. words indeed. Bye-bye.